What is up everyone? We are back in Metal Gear Solid. We need to go get the sniper rifle and go and save Meryl. So we have a bit of backtracking to do. We have to go all the way back to the waste manage the nuclear waste management facility. But before we do that, we need to go down here. Because there is one thing that I forgot to do, and I didn't realize how close this actually was. We need diazepam, yes. That is going to help us with the next sniper mission. And this dog's gonna... Yep. God, I hate this section. Literal worst section of the game. Oh, man. I would rather do the stairs in the tower a thousand times than play this even one more time. No, that's not where I want to go. And I think there's more diazepam on this floor where we meet Meryl. I could be wrong. I can't remember. Is it in the bathroom? I thought we checked in there. We'll check again, though. No. Or we'll check out... Oh, yeah. No, hold on. We gotta... We gotta keep the... Traditions alive. I'm gonna choke out Buddy while he's peeing. Because <laughs> there's nothing more vulnerable for a man than standing at a urinal relieving himself. It's not, <laughs> there's not much you can do to defend against some guy coming in behind you and choking you out. Is it in here? I don't even know. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. Perfect. So, now we have six. Everything else is pretty... I don't think there's much else in here. We can use a ration. Fill up here. Oh, God. We're going to kill him as he comes in. Or at least just kick him and then we'll just leave. Oh, Jesus. Come on, elevator. Oh my god, elevator, why are you doing me like that? See ya. I think the loot is respawned, but we're pretty much full on everything. There's not much that we need. Except grenades. There should be a ration down here. There is, but we don't need it, so we'll... We'll see what happens, and we shouldn't take any damage... ...for a while, at least. Uh, mine detector, please. Thank you. Oh my god. I don't remember all those being there. Oh, um, okay. So what I'm gonna do is collect some of these up. Because they are nice to have. We can hold 12 of them. I don't think that's realistic. <laughs> you won't set off a claymore unless you are crawling on your stomach. Or let, you'll, you'll, it won't go off if, if you're crawling on your stomach. Let me know in the comments if that's true or not. Go test it out for yourself. Ooh, hello, sir. Let's choke this guy out if we can. Nice. That can be sketchy at the best of times.
Beautiful. Okay, we need some cigarettes. You got a PSG one. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Well, I'm working on it, Campbell. If you'd stop yakking, I'd get to her quicker. Now, we do want to check out here, because there's going to be some C4 in this area. Nice. I don't really think we need anything else. Yeah, grenades are full. We should be fine. All there's going to be is ammunition, so we'll just head up. And not fall through the floor. Ooh, did I get these supplies in here? I'm... My short-term memory is, like, totally gone. Alright, back to Meryl. Or, I guess, back to Sniper Wolf. Meryl's gone. Spoilers! The game's 20 years old. <laughs> So we're full. Now we gotta be careful because we they're gonna be all over the place. We're not gonna be able to pick them up. Uh yeah, let's use that. And now we're at full health. Nice for the sniper wolf fight. Check the mine detectors. These things are everywhere. Didn't even need that chafe. Alright, that was my fault, obviously. <laughs> there was there was no chill when it came to trying to get through this part. So we'll take our time. Yeah, he's coming over. As long as we don't walk on the grates, we should be fine. Where's this guy? Alright, so he's walking the other way. Perfect. Oh, we don't need to choke him out. All right, we're going to keep traditions alive. No, no one's allowed to pee in this floor. Without running the risk of getting choked out in the process of relieving yourself. away from the dog. Ugh. Let me alone. Hmm. 
Let's save this for after the fight. She's ready for me. Oh, she missed. Come on out this way. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, she's still sitting there. Come on out this way? Nope. One more shot should do it. Nice. And I guess we don't need that other ration. One thing we're definitely going to do before moving forward is save the game. your weapon over here. Slowly. You are a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two-thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. Oh, you're my special prey. Got it? Huh. Oh, I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I think about. Take him away. My god, it's button mashing city coming up. He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole what was rightly mine. The man who stole my birthright. Me? I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now, 
after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven, I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. But if you want her to stay that way, you better start answering my questions right now.
You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem, then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. What if you do? The girl's life is mine. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using auto-fire, or I'll know. I'm going to run a high-voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. Oh man. Oh god. How did you like that? Shall we go again? No. Had enough yet? We're not finished yet. Starting to get some sweat on my brow. I don't think okay. if anyone remembers on? this part, I think you, you, you don't appreciate how more? fast you actually have to push this button. Push the B button. It's actually nuts. Thank God that's a well, no, it's actually not over, but for now it is. Man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? The Les Enfanteries project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Looks like I got a roommate. The DARPA chief? Whew. What a stench. That guy's not doing so hot. Whoops. That's the old DARPA chief. He's not looking too hot either. Snake, are you okay? I've been better. How's Mara? They've got her. Damn. 
Snake. The government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Merrill, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Armstech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. What are you looking at? All right, we just got to wait. Guy's got a real sneezing problem. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Oh, God. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly. You don't need to tell me. Ha! 
How did you like that? Shall we go again? Yet? Just makes me want to submit. <laughs> not finished yet. Just end it all. I don't think you die, you just get a different cutscene. Oh, kind of dropped on that one. Okay. Want me to go on? Can you take one more? A strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. Is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. Poor snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the benzodrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. Ah. <sighs> How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So... Is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him? Knowing that? Yep. How? He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. That's the trauma that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? 
He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But d didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Hold it in, brother. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. I saw you from a mile away. Wow, they even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. It, let me go, that hurts. Hurry up. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell. Because of him. Yeah, it's the Derpa chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. 
Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. Where's that ketchup? All right, let's lie down. Come on in, buddy. Oh, surprise. Oh, shit. I stopped for no reason. Turn around. I'm stuck in a weird frame. That's right. You sit there with your butt in the air. Let's go get our stuff. Guess we need a chaff grenade to get rid of that camera. Just want to check here and make sure there's yeah, nothing in there, okay? And we should be back on basement one of the waste facility. More cameras. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember there being anything in here, but we're going to check it out because we have a new key card now and I just want to make sure we have everything. Are these cameras with guns? I can't remember. Yes, they are. Are you coming? I can't remember if there's anything down in basement two that we can't get. We're gonna go check. Whoops. We might as well search this area considering we won't be down here again. Also, yeah, that's what I was, we gotta get rid of this thing. But hold on a second, let's throw it over here. Oh my god. Who saw me? That was a close one, Snake. Ocelot. You'll pay for that. Oh. We'll just go down here. We'll kind of... Oh, he's coming down. Where's he going? Left or right? Right.
We definitely want to load up on C4, wherever it is. Nah, I'm not going to bother in that room. Nice. Really pushing it <laughs> with these vision of that soldier. Denial for mines. Do we have room for more claymores? We do. I'll keep the mine detector out. We don't need any more rations. We're good there. Let's try and sneak through here. Because I need to try and save my chaff grenades for the tower, and we need as many as we can muster. Rations are good. Me chaffed. Oh, it's grenades. Oh my god. I'm gonna go and check out... Actually... Again... Traditions are forever. I just want to check this place out. See if we can pick up any more chaffs. Definitely medicine is good. What are, well, what is medicine? It's not diazepam. What does the medicine do? Cold medicine. Oh, God. Oh, where's he going? Let him get comfortable. Let him get the stream going. He's just thinking about life. Everything's good. nothing in here, is there?
When do we use that medicine? There's a specific time. I'm sure it'll come to me when the time comes. I thought there's body armor or something. Oh god. Get up. I'm sure if you looked at that on like an overview map, it would look a lot simpler than what it is. But as it stands, when you're, when, for me anyways, me trying to walk through that is extremely difficult. I just can't find where I'm going. And I never have. I always get lost in that area. Prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No. You're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes, yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? A New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. Meryl! She's fine. We'll go get her.
Oh my god. Let me, uh, let me do this. Oh, they still want some. A rope. Okay, we need to use a ration. Yeah, I don't think these guys actually stay unconscious for long. We're going to have to kill them, because I need to just search around here for a second. It's not too often I use lethal weapons. But I think there's something under the stairs, is there not? No. Okay, let's... Oh my god. We'll just knock them out and start running. <laughs> Can't catch me. Oh, maybe you can. Let's throw a stun grenade. There. That'll slow him down for a bit. Oh, except when I come across one that's in front of me. God. There. Stun grenade, snake. God, don't lie down. And I don't know if there's any other bad guys. There has to be. Damn it. There's a ration over here. Oh, we don't have a lot of rations.
Oh god, give me some health, please. I know all this. I don't need a tutorial lesson. I mean, if you would just... There we go. Oh, we're gonna land it in some steam. Jump snake! Please. Chafes? C4. Oh, I guess that's the door that we have to open up. Oh my god. What, what is shooting me? God. What is shooting me? They really don't want me going that way. I guess that's the... that's the door that's frozen. And we need to use our Nikita missile for this. Oh, there's a ration over there as well. Hopefully they don't shoot it. Nice. Are these guys not going to die? We'll try one more. You would think Nikita missiles would kill them reasonably quickly. But they might be... S okay, there we go. Let's keep the FAMAS out just in case. 
Okay, they're coming back. Oh god. Dodging bullets. Oh, he was like one shot there. Oh, come on, open up your menu. Stinger launcher, there we go. Do I want to go down? I think... I think there's stuff down here. Damn. Yeah, there is. I just don't remember how to get to it. All right, we'll need our chaff grenades. Not just yet. as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck, thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No. You're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. You mean Meryl? Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. ever loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. Do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here. Then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you.
Alright, when do I... Okay, I need them now. <laughs> yeah, I need them right now. Was it Snake Eater where you have the really long ladder that goes up? I'm trying to remember what game that was. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. Um, man, I played Snake Eater. That's, like I said in the beginning of this series, it's my second favorite Metal Gear. And I must have played that game hundreds of hours. We're in better shape than we were before. At least we have full health. And we're gonna need it. Where's the stinger? No, that should be fine there. Okay. Oh, that was the freaking direct hit. What the hell was that? Getting good flat flight pattern. Helicopter that can take 20 Stinger missiles. Oh, he's still shooting. Oh, yep. Oh, I gotta get away from that. The other, I can't remember where he fires. I'm gonna go up here. Whoa! Oh man, he is pissed. right on top. Oh no, that's gonna miss. Ah! 
Okay, now he's gonna play pretty passive. He knows. He knows what's coming. Just keep playing hide and seek with him over here. He can't hurt us as long as he doesn't blow this piece of cover we have up. As long as we're reasonably patient. God, he's not stopping. No, hit him! Good. How many do we have? Twelve? I don't think we can shoot him... ...before he's able to fire. We are. Rise up over there, I won't be able to see you. What's up with his health? He doesn't have any. I don't know where to hide. Oh god. I think he blows up that piece of cover we have. Or just blows up the whole, whole rooftop. Level up. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here. If you guys want to join me on the next episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.